Hey everybody, Eric Eisenbud, the Grateful Chef here once again. And guess what? It's lunchtime. So we did breakfast this morning. We did a nice Taylor ham, egg, and cheese for my friend Keith Brochu. Loved it. It was delicious. Lunchtime. Now I'm hungry. Going back to my favorite cuisine, Szechuan Chinese food. So I'm going to do a quick little uh, shrimp dish that's really easy to make. If you like hot and spicy food, this is the dish. It's ma la prawns. So ma la means hot and numbing. So the hot comes from chilies. The numbing comes from the Szechuan peppercorn. If you've never experienced the Szechuan peppercorn, it's really like out of this world. It's uh, very aromatic in flavor. Not spicy as in like a chili pepper, spicy, but it gives you this numbing sensation in your mouth that I'm addicted to. I love this stuff. So ma la prawns. If you uh, have a Szechuan restaurant or a Chinese restaurant and you say the words ma la to them, they will kind of know what you're talking about and that, and that you want it like a Szechuan flavor. Whether they can do it or not, I don't know. So we're going to start out with these beautiful, beautiful prawns. Now, some dishes I, uh, I, I try and always buy prawns with the, with the heads on. I like cooking certainly with the shell. I like cooking shrimp in the shell because it keeps all the juices inside and it like bastes in its own juice. It doesn't leach out into the water or whatever you're doing. Um, so I buy the head on prawns like this. Um, these have been marinated in a little Shaoxing wine. That's that Chinese cooking wine and a little bit of salt and a little bit of white pepper. White pepper is used exclusively in Chinese cooking. I love it. It's uh, all about aromatics. White pepper has a more aromatic flavor. So they've been in here about 10 minutes. Real easy. So, sorry, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a Ziploc bag, just because it makes it easier to uh, dust these things in cornstarch. So I'm taking them out, trying to leave the liquid behind. So I really don't want the liquid in there. All right, I'm going to put these in here. And I'm going to discard the liquid. Oh, these are awesome. Nice size uh, shrimp. So we're on a shrimp theme today, of course. Um, we are, uh, for dinner, I'm doing a shrimp scampi. You're not going to want to miss that. That's going to be shrimp scampi using tiger shrimp. Really awesome. Another really quick and easy dish to make. All right, so we've got our prawns in our plastic bag. And I've got here a quarter cup. About a quarter cup of cornstarch. I'm going to put it in, put a little bit in, and I'm going to shake it around. Then I'll put the rest in. Just want to get a nice light coating. You don't want to overcoat these. You're not trying to bread them. Throw them in here. Really simple. That easy. Now, with the shell done, you kind of got to be a little careful because they want to. Poke through the bag a little bit, so don't poke yourself and don't get cornstarch all over the place. All right, so I would say that these have a nice light coat on here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take them out, put them on this plate. Nice, exactly what you want. Let me show you this. So you want them nice and lightly coated, just like that. All right, in my wok, I'm going to turn it on. And I'm going to put in about three tablespoons of oil. So this is a vegetable oil, but I grabbed the wrong oil. I had made some fried shallots with vegetable oil, and uh, I reserved the oil. So this is actually a shallot-flavored oil, which I don't really mind. It'll work for this. All right. I'm going to let that oil get nice and hot because I want these to fry very quickly. Boy, I can smell a shallot. It's crazy. Turn the heat up a little bit. So what we're going to do, it's almost like a twice cooked. So we're going to fry the prawns. We're going to take it out, dump the oil out, and then we're going to put fresh oil in and we're going to do our aromatics. And uh, hold on, guys. I got people calling me. during my Facebook lives. 
It's crazy. All right. Hopefully I'm back. Am I back? I'm back. Maybe I didn't even go anywhere. But on my end, we did. All right. So you can see we've got beautiful shimmering oil. These are going in. I'm going to crank this baby. I want these to cook just until they get pink. This is about, uh, I don't know, 15, 18 shrimp. Move it around in the oil. Look at that. Awesome. Love this. Love my wok mod. Love making Chinese food for you guys. Unfortunately, I can't see any comments that are going on right now, but that's uh, because Lynn is not here helping me. She is working, working, working very hard. Nice. I'm going to get this nice crust. I'm going to flip them. Get that other side. Make sure they're all flipped. Yeah, this smells awesome already. Killer! So this is like, I can cook these for a snack, you know, whatever. I mean, these are awesome. I love these prawns. Beautiful. Oh, that one got away. All right. So you can see the color change that happened. Now we bring you in. See a beautiful color change. We got a nice crisp coating. I'm gonna pull these because they are shrimp. They cook real quick. There we go. Done. All right. So our shrimp are ready. We do a quick wipe of this. I'm going to turn the flame down because the next step you want to do on a lower flame because you don't want the garlic and the ginger to burn. I'm going to put the fire, the, the hood on a little bit because you put chili peppers in, in a wok like this if, and you breathe that in, really no bueno. So I don't need to do that. All right, so I'm going to put back about a tablespoon of vegetable oil. Okay. And in go our garlic and ginger. Hit that till it's aromatic. We're also going to put in our special peppercorns. I'm using the green ones here. And dry peppers. So we are flavoring this oil that I just put in in my wok with aromatic Szechuan peppercorns. We've got garlic, we've got the ginger. Again, you don't want to do it over super high heat. Because you don't want anything to burn. You want it nice and brightly colored. Alright, so then I'm gonna add a product called Dubojang. It is a bean paste with chilies, really spicy, kind of a little bit fermented, really, really good. That's going in next. And again, you want to do that over a nice low flame. You don't want this to burn. Look at that. You guys see what's going on in here? Look at that. Beautiful. You know, look how it turned everything red. See if you can see that. Gorgeous. Exactly what you want. I know my camera motions are not as finesse as limbs are. No, oh, that smells amazing. All right, now I'm going to put the shrimp back in. And we're going to toss them around. You really want everything to get nice and coated in chilies, in Szechuan peppercorn. In garlic. Beautiful. I'm going to turn the heat up just a little bit. Put that crisp on there. No, 
Oh yeah. And then the final step. We turn this off. And I have a little bit of white soy sauce. And I put a little bit of Szechuan peppercorn oil because I really like the flavor. And this goes on. Quick stir. Oh. This is like, I know I say this about everything I make, but this is like my favorite comfort food right here. All right, let's put this in our dish. So excited! Turn this down. Gonna sprinkle on a little bit of scallions. Just like that. Here we go. Take a look at this. See if I can get a get an overview here. I know it's not as smooth as Lynn, but look at that. Beautiful prawns. Coated in all those delicious spices. Mm. Well, let's see. Let's see if I can bring you over to the cutting board. And we're going to eat some. Let's see how we do. How are we doing? You see me? Yes, you do. I can see that you can see me. All right, guys. Let's see what we got here. Nice. So you could use chopsticks. I'm using my hands. And of course, if you're familiar with eating like um, crawfish, you know, you suck the head, pinch the tail, eat the meat. So I'm doing the same thing here. Let me get a nice one. You know, the head, the heads on head on shrimp are just, I mean, divine. I like them more than Szechuan than uh, crawfish. Hmm. And because we fried these and they got a light coating, you can actually eat the shell on these, which I love too. Mmm. Awesome. No, it's spicy, vinegary, salty, all the combination of things that make Chinese food. And all, honestly, all Asian cuisines really, really um, exotic and delicious. So I can get the, I get the heat of these chilies crazy and the uh, numbing from the Szechuan peppercorns. Look, I can hardly talk. Mm. Awesome. So, that's my lunch today. I'm going to have to go off and make something for Lynn because she won't eat this. Too spicy. And um, thanks again for joining me. I'm going to see you tonight when I do the uh, shrimp scampi. Real easy. You're going to love it. So be well, eat well, be kind. Be nice. Love each other. I'm still eating. We are all we have, and I'll see you on the next Great Chef video. Peace, guys.